So best believe, hey, the Lord is not coming to play games, man. All right. It says in Isaiah, the 66th chapter, OK, um, how the slain of the Lord shall be many. And it also says in that chapter, hey, this how he shall plead with all flesh, man. Hey, so the Lord is going to come in fury. All right. Then they say also in the book of Isaiah, how Yahweh Shah is not going to meet thee as a man. OK, I mean, what he's going to have a hey, that new body. OK, as it is written in Philippians, the third chapter. OK, his glorious body. All right. But nevertheless, man, fuck making excuses, man, concerning hey, this ministry, this truth, man. All right. Hey, <laughs> we again going into the examples, you know, as well as other brothers, man. You know, hey, sometimes hey, this, hey, this flesh is weak, man. This flesh is weak. It wants to shut down and wants to be it wants to be weak, man. OK, but again, knowing that we're in a battle, knowing that hey, this is spiritual warfare. How do we come back? How do we c come back? That's a word I have trouble with. But how do we come back? this damn flesh how do we con uh, come back these damn demons a hey, staying in the spirit all right staying in the spirit all right as well as these holy scriptures okay it says romans 15 verse 4 how the things written aforetime were written for our learning that we through comfort of the scriptures might have hope roughly paraphrasing the scripture man okay so we have to come back these evil spirits as well as this damn flesh a, a with the holy spirit but the scriptures okay that's how we do it all right so you know I, i'm always I, I said this a couple of times but man forget making excuses all right well hey the lord has given us an opportunity not only to escape the destruction that's going to happen in america babylon the great which is written in the scriptures all right babylon the great is america all right <clears throat> but nevertheless, the Lord has given us an opportunity to, to, to escape the destruction as well be a part of his elect, man, that glorious number. All right. Second Ezra goes into the crowning ceremony, uh, the crowning ceremony, man. How the 144,000 is going to receive crowns upon their foreheads, man. All right. Because they stood so st because they stood so stiffly for the name of the Lord, man. And when you're standing stiffly and we are, again, this being a battle, this being spiritual warfare, man, we have to stand stiffly, man. OK, sometimes they may get hard, man. Sometimes you may not want to. And hey, that's this damn flesh, man. But you got to combat it with the spirit. You got to pray to the Lord, man. Let me get a quick one in Second uh, Corinthians, the sixth chapter. Starting at the top, we then as workers together with him beseech you, beseech meaning beg, oh, beseech you also that ye receive not the grace of the most high in vain. All right. So we don't want to a hey, take this in vain, man. OK, so the Lord, like how it's written in Luke, the 19th chapter or maybe the Luke. Let me see. Sometimes I roughly paraphrase. I got to. Yep, Luke the 19th chapter. Okay, so as it is written in Luke the 19th chapter, the Lord has given, all right, his men, okay, he has given his men, all right, his uh, 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 money, okay, and we have to do what? We have to spiritually trade, meaning what? We have to multiply our talents with this, with a hey, with the Lord's money, all right, and this is something that hey, we don't want to be slothful with, man. <laughs> All right, you know, and, 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 and here you have it. You know, you got to pay these certain type of bills, whether it be your rent, your car note, phone bill, whatever the case may be. And you got some Jake and they pay it at, at midnight, you know, just because they don't want to piss off Esau. But how much more you have Bashamal shot, man? OK, how much more concerning this work? You know, and I don't want to go into no rent. But at the end of the day, this is something that you do not want to be slothful with, man. All right. This is not something that you want to play around. This is not something that you just want to be a, a complacent in, man. OK, because hey, guess what? How hey, the Lord rewarded those men. OK, you know, the, hey, I have matter of fact, I'm here. Let's go into it. 
In Luke chapter 19, verse 13, uh, let's start from 12. He said, therefore, a certain nobleman went into a far country to receive for himself a kingdom and to return. And he called his 10 servants and delivered them 10 pounds. Now, that 10 pound is symbolic unto this wisdom, knowledge and understanding. This is the Lord's money a through the Rechakwadash, the Holy Spirit, and said unto them, Occupy till I come. Now, when you go into the a occupy is going to occupation. All right. So a hey, the Lord has given us a seat, a hey, not only at his table, a a a with his business. All right. And it says occupy till I come, meaning we always going to have to be occupying in this word. OK, not only just a hey, well, we got to be a hey, being a brother. All right. Being amongst the body. Okay, doing this work, you know, didn't Yahweh Shah tell Peter, uh, uh, um, uh, feed my sheep? Okay, you know, matter of fact, let me get that too. All right, because <laughs> if our, the if, if those that we learn from were being slothful, you know, do you think that you would have been able to, it's all through Yahweh Shah, but the point I'm making is, Hey, brothers wasn't being slothful when they were making edifying lessons through the spirit, man. Our brothers, especially starting with the apostles and elders, hey, made sure other hey, made sure the flock was fed, man. Okay? So you have to hey, use the same, you, hey, you got to do the same thing, man. Because as soon as you start your YouTube, whoever the Lord sends to your YouTube, hey, that's your sheep. You know? Where there is, a, you know, but again, the point I'm making is you can't. You can't leave your your sheep out there, man. Doesn't it say how there's a a, a a ravening wolves, you know, amongst, you know, them that know that they're Israelites, these other different camps just can't wait to scatter the flock. You know, they just can't wait to put in a, a divination or, you know, a stumbling block amongst them, man. All right. So you got to make sure your sheep is being accounted of, man. All right. This is the book of John, chapter 21, verse 13. Yahweh shall then cometh and take it breath and give it them and fish likewise. Now, this is the third time that Yahweh Shah shooed himself to his disciples. After that, he was risen from the dead. So when they had done, Yahweh Shah said to Simon Peter, Simon, son of Joseph, lovest thou me more than these? He said unto him, Yeah, Lord. Thou knowest that I love thee. He said unto him, Feed my lambs. He said to him the second time, Simon, son of jo Jonas, Lovest thou me? He said unto him, Yeah, Lord. Thou knowest that I love thee. He said unto him, Feed my sheep. And he said unto him the third time, Simon, son of Jonas, Lovest thou me? Peter was grieved because he said unto him the third time, Lovest thou me? And he said unto him, Lord, thou knowest all things. Thou knowest that I love thee. Yahweh Shah said unto him, feed my sheep. Okay. So hey, the Lord is requiring us brothers. Okay. To feed the sheep, man. Feed Yahweh Shah's sheep. Okay. So this is a requirement. You have to feed the sheep, man. Say feed my lambs, man. Okay. So, again, this is very important, man. At the end of the day, man, f forget your excuses, man. Every brother's got, every brother got something that they that they got going on, man. All right, the Lord has given every man his own, his own walk, man. But at the end of the day, hey, this is battle. When you at battle and you thinking about things outside of the battle, hey, that's when you're going to be overtaken, man. We got to be worried about what's in front of us. And then we think about whatever's, you know, after with all with balance. But nevertheless, you know, that was just something that I did want to go into, man. You know, forget making excuses. Not only is the Lord going to reward us, brothers, man. All right. Hey, but the Lord is going to Hey, not only has through the Holy Spirit, the Lord has given us insight on what's going to happen hey, before it happens, man. Okay, man. Hey, 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 doesn't it say in Micah how we're full of power, man? You know, 
Lord has given us a, uh, you know, some spiritual power right now, being able to understand these scriptures, man. You know, so, hey, when well, much is given, to whom much is given, much is required, man. So, oh, you know, speaking to myself, first and foremost, always remember that. All right, the Lord gave you this work, hey, for two reasons. You know, the Lord opened your eyes to this truth, Salakia, for two reasons. It could be two reasons. You know, one's for you to get delivered and you, you know, to be a part of his elect, Lord willing, you know, or, you know, for you to fall out, be a reprobate, or, you know, and to get destroyed, you know, on this side. So, you know, that's why we got to pray to the Lord to a to Psalms 51 and 11, man, to a cast me not away from thy presence and remove not thy Holy Spirit, roughly paraphrasing. So, I'm, you know, Lord willing, it was edifying to the next time, giving all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah Bahashem, Rakakodash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of great mills on every well. Peace and blessing to the left. Till next time, Shalom. Abba Abba. Come Yasha Allah. Shalom.